Hello everybody, I will explain in this video what is RP Manager and how to use and how to upload your data to the cloud. First of all, I will show you where the old information is available on the website. The website is trpscale.com and you have a shop and a blog. If you click on the shop, you can see the most popular items from TRP Scale. So if you click over the RP Manager Discharger, you will have all the information available about this product. To proceed to download the software is like to buy an item, but at the end of the process the system will not ask you to pay. You will receive a link into your email to download the software for Windows or Linux. If you are a Windows user, please take in account that you more than likely will need to install the correct drivers for the discharger. It's absolutely necessary to install it before you use the software. As soon as you get the Windows software, you just need to unzip and un or unpack and will be ready to use. This is the software. We can double click. First you need is, uh, is to do is select the correct com communication port. There's all the ports available. In this case COM4 is the correct one. The second is introduce the name of the batteries. Battery number one, battery number two, battery number three, battery number four. This, uh, this name of batteries is very important because the file information of each battery will be saved under this name on your My Documents folder. As soon as you get introduced the name of the batteries, in this example we will use one good battery in channel 1, channel 2 and uh, bad batteries in channel 3, number 4, just for explain and to see the difference between a good and bad battery. You can click on next. Now you can click on connect and you can start to introduce the batteries on the discharger. Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, and Channel 4. Right now, it's not discharging, it's, not, it's just showing us the voltage of each uh, cell. The discharging process is at 3 amp amps with pulsing discharge. The pulsing discharge permit to see your your battery behavior when a discharge is applied and also permits to see how your fast your battery is recovering from a high discharge. Now we will start discharge pro process. You can see the voltage, you can see the amps, you can see the time and the average voltage. All this information will be proceed, but the most important information will be the average voltage on the discharge process. As you can see, when the discharge is discharging, the voltage is dropped down, and when it's in pose, it's come up. You can stop the discharge process if you push the button stop. If you don't need more information of the discharging process, that means that your main series are no longer than 25 minutes and you think that information is not relevant for your matching process, you can stop the process at the moment you want. If you stop the process, the process, uh, if you stop the process um, or the process is finished, a button will appear in order to generate the output files with the C 
csv format these files could be read by excel or other office applications in order to analyze information of each battery if you don't want to make it manually you can create a free account in our cloud system as you can see just pushing this button with a cloud icon you will you will uh, it will be open a browser in your computer right now let them discharge as you can see when the when in the channel 3 and channel 4 when the discharge is coming the voltage for the bad batteries is is dropping down a lot the discharge process will be end when they the voltage reach the 0 0.9 voltage or 900 milliamps millivoltage sorry Another imp important information is your serial number. This serial number will be used to open your cloud account. Let's wait. Meanwhile, the discharge is doing, I will explain other options. For example, if you need to order some labels for your batteries, you can push this button. And, as you can see, you will be redirect to the shop to buy some labels for your, for your batteries. If you need more information, you can uh, push, push this button and you will see all the information how it run, the file format, how to discharge, what is necessary and everything related with this. Also, we are working in improve for graphical uh, information. As you can see, you can see the batteries, graphics, but uh, right now it's a beta version, so it's not uh, already finished. So we will improve uh, these graphics very soon. If you push in the cloud button, you can access to your account. So with an email, a password. If you want to create a account, you just push create account and you can introduce your name, your email, your password, your serial number. Your serial number is here, so it's one three one four one eight and you push create your account your application has been accepted so you can log in right now okay right now i will log in my account And you will be able to see my battery's information. You can upload the files or you can see the dashboard. And here you have all your information about your batteries. You can sort pushing this button. And at least you will see that these four batteries are the best one that you have that I have in my account well we will stop the process and click to save fill file is saved and if we push 
on this folder icon we will see that files are created battery 1, battery 2, battery 3, battery 4 and we'll, it will be able to upload to the system I hope you enjoyed this system and you share this information with all MiniZ friends. Thanks for watching.